you can shape it, you can draw it down very thin, you can hammer it out very flat, you can do all kinds of textures. Gold is fantastic for the way the light reflects off it. It's a material that allows you to explore any kind of technique. Gold simply allows me to do that because I can express myself in any way. I'm capable of doing most things in a traditional way. The possibilities are endless. Very early on, I was sure that I wanted to be an artist. So I was more interested in just creating forms. There were quite a lot of subjects on offer at Hornsey at the time. We went down to the British Museum if it was raining and draw museum pieces. But silversmithing was the main line that I took. At the end of the course, they offered me a place as a jeweler. It was something I hadn't contemplated at all. I thought, well, I didn't even think about it. I just said yes. <laughs> I was so keen to go to Royal College. I guess because my Friday outdoor drawings, when it was raining, it was quite often. We were often in the British Museum, and so I did quite a lot of museum study. You go into a museum and stand at the back of the room and look, you can just see the gold in the far distance. It stands out immediately because of its luster and colour. And I guess that's at the foundation of my interest in gold. I like surprises. I like to just test things out and see what comes and then allow myself to be led by what it will do. It is a dialogue, it's a genuine dialogue. You know, I'll do something to the metal and look at it and it'll speak back to me that I could do this, that or the other. Gold is the one material that allows me to express myself in whichever way I feel. The pleasure of when something sold us beautifully. You know, you're dealing with a hot flame and I've got my magnifiers on and it's all has to happen at a certain moment, you know. But when that moment happens, it's all I can say it's like magic. When I came to think about what I was doing for Collect, I started doing this pleated gold jewellery. I'm using extremely thin gold, it's 0.18 of a millimetre. I love, actually love drawing from life. It gave me this idea of curving the jewellery that I've made for Collect. So, you know, you could interpret a certain sensuality into the work if you wanted to. The way the light falls on those shapes and bounces back off itself gives it a tremendous luster and glow. And I hope they'll be timeless. But I haven't stopped, I'm still going strong. I think I probably always will. And my 94 year old mother, she's still playing the viola. So uh, if I got her gene, I'll be all right. I want to always still be making something new.